An ambitious plan by UN engineers to repair main roads across South Sudan will improve security, enable traders and humanitarians to get food to needy communities and build peace. At a press conference in Juba, the special representative of the Secretary-General David Shearer unveiled the plan to repair 2,350 kilometres of road, double the work completed last year. The work will be carried out by Bangladeshi, Chinese, Indian and South Korean peacekeeping engineers over the dry season. Fixing the roads will enable unmissed patrols to go deeper into trouble spots to deter violence, protect civilians and give displaced people the confidence to return home. If the conflict ends, and we certainly hope it does, infrastructure such as roads will help anchor peace by building that prosperity. Road repairs will also improve access for local traders and humanitarian agencies, getting food and relief supplies to vulnerable communities. One of the reasons that we are focusing on the roads so heavily is that the World Food Programme wants to be able to be pre-positioned more food for next year. And it's much easier to do that by road um, but then by doing it by airdrops and a lot cheaper. So what we're trying to do is to extend the, the season by which people are able to use the roads by a, a, an additional month so that we're able to move more food into those areas where we think people are going to be uh, facing food insecurity. South Sudan only has 215 kilometres of tarmac road in a country the size of France. A journey from Juba to Benchu in the far north is 1,000 kilometres, but takes 14 to 20 days in the dry season. In the rainy season, the road is impassable. While the government is primarily responsible for maintaining roads, UNMIS has stepped in to help, because a functioning road infrastructure is vital for economic development. The sooner peace comes, the more that we're, able, we're going to be able to get people back into their own farms, into their own land, and we're able to e ease that humanitarian situation. The World Food Programme and UN Ops will carry out specialist, more permanent repairs on the critical routes that UNMIS is working on, and will rehabilitate other roads depending on funding from donors.